The next time you're under attack, the next time you blow it, the next time you've messed up, the next time you feel you're no good or you're damaged goods, God doesn't love you and he can't use you. The next time you find yourself in that position, just remember this. Noah was a drunk. Abraham and Sarah were too old. Isaac was a daydreamer. Jacob was a liar and a cheat. Leah, bless her heart, was ugly. Joseph had been abused as a child. Moses had a stuttering problem. Gideon was afraid. Samson was a womanizer. Rahab was a hooker. Jeremiah was too young. David had an affair and was a murderer. Elijah suffered from depression and was suicidal. Jonah ran away from God. Naomi was an impoverished widow. Job had to declare bankruptcy. Peter denied Jesus and then cussed like a sailor. The disciples fell asleep at a prayer meeting. James and John were power hungry. Martha, bless her heart, she worried about everything. Mary Magdalene was, well, we don't know what all she was. The woman at the well was divorced and remarried more than one time. Zacchaeus was too short. Paul was too religious. Timothy had ulcers. And Lazarus, for crying out loud, Lazarus was dead. And yet God used every one of them in his program. So listen to me, church. Listen. No more excuses. No more excuses. You think you got problems? No more doubts. God can, he will, he wants to continue to love you and use you powerfully in spite of every past failure, every present limitation, or every future problem that may come your way within the circle of his love and under the tent of his grace. God, your father, is waiting to tell you just how much he loves you.